Hey guys, welcome back to 3DRC's YouTube channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm uh, kickstarting a new project here. But basically, I got my hands on this 135th scale Orlando Hunter RC truck, and uh, I've been putting it together slowly over the past few nights. But the big project I want to work on for this truck is I want to build an indoor crawler course. Nothing too crazy, nothing too huge. I just want, I want to give it a shot. I've been really getting into building these scale dioramas, like I said, with the scale garage, if you haven't seen any of those videos. But I, I want to try and get into building a, a little bit of an outdoor diorama, and I obviously want it to be a little bit of a playground for this truck. This particular video series won't really detail too much about the build series for this truck. I'll just kind of lightly touch on it as I uh, make progress on it. This video series will definitely be more about the RC course that I'm building, how I do it. Prepare yourselves for a lot of time-lapse video here as I get started. First time doing something like this, so uh, we'll see how I do. So yeah, let's hop in and take a look at the actual course. So right now I have a piece, I have a 2 foot by 4 foot piece of MDF. And I've just kind of lightly drawn out the course idea that I have in my head, where I want things to be. Um... But as I get further into doing this course, I'm definitely going to alter things, I think. Um, right now, definitely plan on having a scale garage up in this area. And um, from there, just try and play with the different levels that I can make. I'm going to try and use a lot of styrofoam and uh, things like that. So let's hop into the next part. First things first, this scale truck is going to need a scale garage, and I want to try and set that into the scenery of this scale playground I'm going to build, so uh, here's a quick time-lapse video of me putting together what I've gotten that so far. Here's the uh, almost finished product of that scale garage. I definitely have a lot of work to do on the inside to really add some scale detail to it, and obviously it needs a roof. But uh, for the time being, I think this serves its purpose, and uh, I can work with what it has for right now. Next up, we got to start cutting some styrofoam and uh, it ends up being a lot of styrofoam and a lot of mess. At this point, we have a pretty decent layout of what we wanted done. Uh, there's not, obviously not a whole lot of uh, details into this yet, and I can already see some things that I'm probably going to want to redo as I give it some more thought. But for the time being, we have a start, and I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, yeah, now we're just going to test it out, run the truck around a little bit. Of course, you can't get too far into a project without running the trucks. So we'll do that. I'll take a quick overview of what the whole thing looks like. 
And we'll call this video done until next time. There's still a lot of work left to do. I imagine there'll be a few parts to this video. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, I post a lot more to Instagram than I do on YouTube. It's a little tougher to get some stuff up here. I don't have the time to uh, dedicate to really making these longer videos, unfortunately. Not right now, anyway. Uh, we are starting up a Patreon page. If anyone's interested in that, please check that out in the description below. Um, perks for becoming a Patreon, especially if you have a 3D printer. Any of the 3D printer files that we create and design ourselves here, we're going to put out on our Patreon for everybody to um, download there. So again, uh, thanks for hanging out, guys, and uh, let us know what you think in the comments. All right, see you.